six species of lizard in New Guinea to develop toxic, lime green blood. The lizard's blood, along with their tongues, muscles and bones, appear green because of incredibly large doses of a bile pigment called bilividin. Scientists still do not know why the reptiles have the unusually colored blood but believe it could be to help fight malaria. The levels of the toxic chemical are higher than other animals, including people, could survive. Scientists still don't know why the green blood occurs, but evolution is providing some hints into this nearly 50-year mystery. Our key finding was that green-blooded lizards are not each other's closest relatives, and they all likely evolved from an ancestor that had red blood. This means that green blood likely emerged independently in different lizards, suggesting that green blood has beneficial properties, said evolutionary biologist Zachary Rodriguez of Louisiana State University's Museum of Natural Science. After mapping the evolutionary family tree of New Guinea lizards, the scientists found that green blood developed at four different points in history. The fact the trait developed several times indicates the presence of the unique blood is not an accident. Instead, the green blood trait probably gives the lizards an evolutionary advantage of some kind, said Christopher Austin of Louisiana State University. Evolution can do amazing things given enough time. Dr. Austin said. The natural world is a fascinating place. Dr. Austin first thought that maybe being green and full of bile would make New Guinea lizards taste bad to potential predators. Dr. Austin decided the easiest way to test this theory was to taste the flesh for himself. He said, I actually ate several lizards myself and they didn't taste bad. The scientists also fed plenty of the animals to a paradise kingfish a bird, which seemed unaffected and unharmed. Speculation around why the green pigment evolved has led to a theory centered around malaria. In people, having elevated levels of bilividin has been linked to killing malaria parasites. Dr. Austin thinks this could be why lizards evolved to be green-blooded, as malaria is an issue for lizards in New Guinea. It is possible the threat posed by malaria was so severe to past lizards that evolution heavily favored animals with high levels of this toxic compound, which meant green blood became common in the animals. The next step to fully understand the phenomenon is to search for the specific genes involved. Michael Ellerman, a researcher at the University of Tasmania in Australia, praised the research and wondered what the evolutionary cost of having green blood may be. He believes there must be a price to pay, otherwise more critters would bleed green, he said. Many insects, spiders and mollusks have the copper containing blood pigment that's clear unless it attaches to oxygen, at which point it turns blue. To understand the reason behind why the blood is green, having a good knowledge of bile is essential. Bile comes from broken down blood cells and, after they break down, the iron is recycled to make new red blood cells. In this process, toxins are produced as a byproduct, which is essentially bile. High levels of bilividin cause jaundice in most animals and can be lethal. Despite the hazards that come with having toxic blood, these lizards thrive. In the New Guinea lizards, levels of bilividin are 40 times higher than what would be toxic to humans. The natural crimson hue of blood is caused by hemoglobin, a chemical which carries oxygen around the body via the blood. The lizards still have this molecule, but there is such an abundance of the green pigment if overwhelms the red and produces the lime green color seen in the Papua New Guinea lizards. Squids and octopuses have intense blue blood and ice fish in Antarctica have clear blood. Little crustaceans from Lake Baikal in Siberia have blood that's blue, red or green. Marine worms called lamp shells have violet to pink blood, according to the American Chemical Society. Biology is incredibly diverse, Dr. Austin said. The green-blooded lizards, up to a foot long and live in lowland tropical forests and highlands on New Guinea, an island shared by Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. Oh, these animals are gorgeous, truly some of the most beautiful and enigmatic lizards in the world, 
living on one of the most megadiverse islands on the planet, Dr. Austin said. They have other cool traits such as giving birth to live young and adhesive toe pads, Dr. Rodriguez added.